Okay. Is it running? It is. Okay. So today we're going to do a coffee documentary from bean to the cup, basically. So, uh, Tex, if you come a little bit closer here, see what we're looking for. We need to find some uh, mature beans, of course. And here we have. Come close. And these beans here, the red ones, that's what we want to have. These are actually not 100% mature, but we'll take them anyway. Beans can be, um, oh, here we go. Look at this. You see this? So here's a couple of mature beans. Show you a couple of other types of beans that are here. This way. Come on, don't be shy. So beans can basically be red or yellow. I don't know what's the difference, there's not really any difference, but on some plants they go yellow, on other plants they go red. You can see a good example of the yellow ones right here. See these ones here? These ones are nice, yellow and mature. And the thing with coffee is, of course, you have to pick them at the right time. And they do mature differently. I mean, they don't go all mature in one time. That's why you can't really harvest with a machine. Um, as far as I've been told, they harvest with machine in, for instance, Vietnam. And since they can't distinguish between the yellow, the mature, or the um, not mature coffee, uh, it's not really good quality, and that's that's Nescafe, shitty coffee. You know, wouldn't drink that. This here, if you look here, right, is of course small green beans. They are glowing. You see here, you grow coffee together with bananas for the shade. We've got about 5,000 coffee plants on this uh, farm and about a thousand, maybe 1,500 banana trees, something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a little bit more coffee and uh, then we'll see um, what's the next step of the process. See you now. So back at the farm, I'm filling this one up with uh, freshly harvested coffee. And now we're going to have a look at what it actually looks like. And I'm coming over here. You see here, this is the coffee. And it's... Now what we have to do is get the pulp away from there. And the coffee looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. So you take... And this is the bean. Uh, and here you go. Some of those are yellow. Whoops. Hey, I'll throw the you, you can actually eat them. Doesn't taste extremely well. Throw the pop up. There we go. So, and um, if you come with me here, nice and slowly. Uh, there, uh, there is, of course, a machine. Okay. Uh, which is right now. There we go. So this here, if you come a little bit closer, you can see an old-fashioned machine to um, take the pulp out. Um, I don't even know how it works, but uh, why not try it? Pour that in there. Let's see. Probably 
Get the bucket. That's not the bucket. One moment. Okay. So now we've got the just never done this before in my whole life but wow it works come around on the other side you can see the coffee actually Going to clean this up a little bit, get rid of all this extra oops, pulp material here, and then this is what you put to dry. And you need a couple of days of good sunshine, maybe three or four, or maybe even five days, and then that is dry. So why don't we, uh, of course this is a cooking program, so we've already got some dried, which I would like to show you. Don Miguel, he's the man in charge of this farm, uh, helping me out because I am amateur. I don't know anything what I'm doing, but he knows everything. So if you come a little bit closer here. So this here is dried coffee. Got a little sorting machine. Well, not really a machine, is it? sorting it out there and this here you can see I don't know if you can see here but it still has kind of a, a shell which you need to take away you have a machine for taking this away as well I of course don't have one of those machines so I gotta go somewhere else to do it but you basically whoops, take away and you end up with this. So this is coffee beans ready to be roasted. And we're going to do that in a little while. So stay tuned. Okay, and uh, here we are. We're going to um, roast the coffee that we picked a couple of days ago. Now it's dry and nice. We've got this special tool here, basically a clay container, whatever. Put on the coffee, Don Giovanni. And there we go. I think, at least I think, that it's very important that you keep on steering this so you don't burn some and some doesn't become toasted at all. So this is what we're going to do for quite a while. Got Giovanni here helping out. Osvaldo helping as good as he can. <laughs> here we go. It'll take about 20 minutes, I think. I haven't really done this before. so. Uh, We'll have a look. Okay, it's been about five minutes now and the coffee is definitely putting on some color. We'll keep on steering it. It's not the best way of roasting coffee this, but uh, this is the old fashioned way. So we'll just keep on doing it. Hope for the best. Okay, it's been about 
10 minutes now. We're going to solve to be, to be um, two people stirring. Because, um, otherwise we'll burn some. Certainly putting on color. <laughs> now? <laughs> Ahora? <laughs> Víctor, ahí sin dejar de hacer lo que están haciendo puedes hacer un cigarrillo. Yo puedo hacer un cigarrillo con un mano, pero nunca me queda muy bien. Yo puedo hacer. Okay, so this is the finished product, and uh, now we're going to put it in there, and let's um, grind it, and let's drink it. Okay. Oh, the whole fucking table. Smells really good, huh? Smells very good. So here we are. Drinking the coffee made from whoa, not in the stuff. Where? Made from my own farm. Pretty awesome. And now we're going to play some patang at the same time. How better to spend the morning in Colombia? Um, as you might see, the patang court is not ready. But we're working on it. A lot of things to do. So see you later.